Here's a great verse to start us off in this study. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. And that's a promise to the believer, a promise for here on earth and a promise for heaven beyond. We see all through the scriptures rewards being given by the benevolent God the Father, whose name is, Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 56, Yahweh Gemula, the God of rewards. In Jesus' first message, the Sermon on the Mount, he says, great is your reward, faithful Christian. He says it nine times. Are you getting the idea? Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 11, the Lord's coming, he's bringing his reward with him. Isaiah 62 and verse 11, the Lord is coming, he's bringing his reward with him. Revelation 22 and verse 12, the Lord is coming, Jesus is coming, he's bringing his reward with him to give to each one as they have served here on earth. Do you know there is a designated place in eternity in the celestial kingdom just to give rewards to the believer? Really? 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. It's known as the Bema seat of Christ, the reward seat of Christ. It's used in the sports term, the elevated seat in which rewards, trophies were given out. It's to let us know here. Do you know that even giving a cup of cold water in the name of the Lord, you will not lose your reward? There are many times when you give and it's practically anonymous. Well, Luke 14, 14 says, you may be serving people and you'll never receive recognition or recompense from them, but in the resurrection of the righteous, you will receive your reward. Hebrews chapter six and verse 10, the Lord says, hey, listen, I'm not an unjust judge. I'm seeing what you're doing and you are going to be rewarded. Now be careful now, sometimes frustration and people will just walk away. Third John verse eight says, be careful, don't lose that re your reward. You have been storing up those treasures, as we see Matthew says, laying up your treasures in heaven. Don't lose them by frustration or by laziness. These rewards are so, so valuable, so wonderful, and promised by God himself, who cannot lie. Titus chapter 1 and verse 2. God cannot lie, Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 18. It's impossible for God to lie. And so when he says, I have a reward for you, you will receive praise, as it says, for your faithfulness. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 5, we can see that the Lord means business. Listen to this, Galatians chapter 6, verses 7 through 9. Let us not grow weary in well-doing, because you know why? In due season we will reap, we will be rewarded if we don't give up. And so that's the challenge for today, to serve. And even though the things of the world may frustrate you or you're laboring through and are, you are an overcomer, following the Lord no matter what, being faithful, and as Luke 19 says, just occupying till he comes, which just means do what you're supposed to be doing under the guidance of God and in obedience to him you'll receive your reward. There are many other passages. This is just a hint. Our Lord is a rewarding God and he's giving it to the overcomers, the faithful ones.